Alrighty boys, we got the brothers in the house. While this truck's in town, this truck's in town, figured I'd share it with you. I don't know, this video might be useful for some people, so what I'm gonna do is compare them. Like I'm doing so now here. Not really showing you the Mercedes. I love this car, this is my family rig. But, the point of this video is uh, to give you an opportunity to compare both trucks. Man, I should've pulled this Mercedes out of the way. So, that's fifth gen, fourth gen. That's how different in the back, and then we'll go down the side again. As you can tell, factory flares. This one had aftermarket flares. I pulled them off. You see the little arching there. I really wish, I wish this truck had this truck side steps. Yes, this looks cleaner. It looks cleaner. That's all I'm gonna say. This is a lot more useful. I love those wheel to wheel. And as I've said in the beginning of the video, my other videos, if these amp or whatever power boards ever croak out this truck this truck's gonna get these kind of steps priced them out i think they're 1200 bucks so there you have it you know door door handles are a little different oh we got a guy here the driver to this vehicle is here so the door is there a little bit different a little bit more accent here this is just straight up chrome well just trying to help you guys the guys that are out there looking at these and really what's the difference well here you have it you know, I'm doing my best. The mirrors are the same upon, uh, you know, this factor. But then the Fortune doesn't have all this shenanigans under here. So he has the little spotlight, the light, which, and camera. This one doesn't have any of those but a light, a puddle light. I put an aftermarket one. I put an aftermarket blacked out light. I have blacked out lights of these at home as well. But we'll see. If these burn out, I'll, I'll put those. They look pretty cool. As far as the the mirrors, I will I will say they will bolt on. And in my as far as I could tell, they will bolt on. But obviously you're missing the camera. This limited has it. That one doesn't. The windows, guys. This is tempered, not tempered glass. This is dual glass kind of deal. They call it acoustic film or whatever. But this thing has two pieces of glass um, glued together. So let me show you the way I checked it. If you click on her and get her going, there's best way to tell i'll i'll just keep it simple for y'all dual glass okay and that's two glass two pieces of glass so this glass you could see how it's rounded off just a piece of glass rounded off okay nothing special now if you go in this one let me show you if you go in this truck you'll notice that Oh, you, see, you see that glue in there? This is two pieces of glass. This helps with noise, vibration, and the whole shebang. This is dual glass scenario. They call it, uh, I mean, it's sticky. <laughs> they call it an acoustic package or whatever. I, I know it's part of the package you bought in this vehicle. And it was, it mentioned it, I forgot about it. And then when time came to, to tinting it, the guy that I approached, he was like, dude, I think that's dual glass because it, off the bat, it has this bluish tint to it, you know, when they're not tinted. So, and then we looked at it. He's like, yeah, dude, this is a dual glass deal. He's like, good thing I looked. Just in case if you ever want to pull off this tent, you cannot heat the glass. At the, at the time, I was just applying tent. Yes, I freaking tent the piss out of this truck. Anyways, so let's stay focused here. Guys, I, I'm trying to make this as quick as possible so I go back in the office and help my boys out. But I saw this truck out here. I figured some of you guys will enjoy it. So probably should have flipped these things around so driver to driver passenger to passenger but now forget it let me finish exterior then we'll go back to interior so up front um you know you pick your own because i've spent more time with it i could say i like the front end of this truck more it has grown on me and it's grown on me very quick this truck sits lower than that truck because that one's still level this one isn't i did not lower that truck i left it level it, it just time that we didn't have and we didn't see it as a huge necessity so we left it alone looks good yada yada whatever we'll leave it on only thing this truck needs is a heavier stance and that meaning meaning what i mean by that is give it a i don't know two three inch lift up front probably an inch in the back it'll, it'll look nicer but then working it whatever you guys know what i'm talking about working as a downside mileage and whatever but if you do it right the track bar you could do it anyways as far as the front end, guys, I know, I know. I'm not staying focused for a whole lot. I'm just trying to cover as much things as I can in comments. I know what guys are going to be throwing my way, so I might as well cover it. And they can elaborate it once they're throwing my way. So at first glance, I did. I was 50-50 about on the front end. 
with fender flares this truck looks more aggressive and it's with fender flares and wheels this truck looks more aggressive but i still don't think it'll beat this if you if you equip them equally you know it's hard to tell because this one has stock when this thing had stock it's it wasn't as aggressive but the the tires and the wheels really complement the aggressive front look so let me let me do one of that for you so you see how it looks it looks very clean and aggressive this looks more mild and once again i pulled off the fender flares if i put those on the wheels it'll look more aggressive anyways i'm done um now for the sides you know I, that's the best i could do for you guys put you on this side and put you on that side i'm not gonna get into the technical differences a whole lot um what i will show is the obvious stuff this thing has sensors has a lot of sensors up there you can see I'm, I need to do a better job. Then I realize my uh, radar wire is getting in the way. That's where I'm hiding. Oh shoot, what am I doing? You see that sparkling thing line right there? That's a wire. That's where I'm hiding my radar wire. I guess I need to pull it down a little bit. But this thing has a lot of sensors. My passengers complain about them a lot more than I do. So what I'll probably do is pull it out and have it drop here and hang out there. But anyways as far as the front end goes what i didn't get to is the lights i like it it's simple these are blacked out you know blackish lights i like them a lot more tinted out whatever you want to call them nothing wrong with those those are good lights they look good at night but these are leds i like them more i could care less about that antenna or that i don't think either of them belong there but whatever <laughs> what i do like is the antenna missing here it looks a lot cleaner see this guy has an antenna here this reminds me of a Chevy. I don't know why, maybe because when I was growing up, five years old, we had a Chevy station wagon. It was quite the, quite the family hauler my dad had. Short term, you know, he had a very short time, but he did have it. So it looks cleaner without the antenna. Now, when you come around here, you know, you got your Cummins fairly same as the Ford Gen, and then you have this down here. The badging, I think they came available in the 18s. The 14s didn't have them, but teach their own, you know. I gotta say, this looks really busy. If I was gonna go any further with modifications, I'd probably black this out, black the headlights out, and get rid of this. But that looks fairly clean. I have uh, intentions of my own to modify this, but we'll see. I'm not gonna jump the gun and share all my plans and not go through them and look like an idiot. So, nothing fancy here. This thing has a step down. I know you guys seen in my other videos. I think I paid 40 bucks for how's equipped in it. I don't really use that. I don't care for it. I thought that was going to come with the side steps on the... I thought it was going to get a kick out, side on, kick out step on the side like they've advertised in their uh, videos on their promotion deal. I thought that was part of the deal. It was not. I did not order that step when I was ordering my truck because I knew it was just gonna be this step. I ordered this step because I was under the impression I was gonna get a kick out step on the side as well. So I figured I don't have my wheel to wheel, at least I'll have a kick out that I could use. I was misled if that's what you could put it, if that's the way you wanna put it, but I'm not gonna cry over it. So yeah, as far as the, I mean, I didn't cover this side, but for all you boys that haven't seen it, here you are. Now, let's show you the interior a little bit. I'm going to put you on pause real quick. I think he wants to access his truck. All right, back to business we go. So, on the interior, I know, I know it's not apples to apples. I'll be showing you passenger and driver view. But, I mean, here, let's see this. It's still a fairly accurate comparison. Let me do that for you. So, look at that and then look at this. Okay. You got a little bit more accents. I absolutely love this. I love what they did here, gunmetal kind of deal look. And this camera does not want to focus. I love this metal. I don't mind this. Never never bothered me. I like the wood idea here. So as far as that goes, it's a wash. The only thing I, I can notice is these metal speakers. It looks more bold, it stands out, it looks more high-end if that's what you could call it. So look at this door panel and then look at this one. Not the biggest fan of chrome, but you know, it is what it is. Now, as far as the interior goes, <laughs> i guys put you on hold. Just so. so as far as the interior goes, um, 
The dashboard design is it's not questionable. It's just it's fairly busy. I'm so used to this truck that looks so simple. Now that I have both trucks, you know, I've owned this truck for what five years, and then I went to that truck. Um, I think I was short a few weeks from five years legitimate ownership of this. I'm not looking at the dates right now, but I think that's where we're at. This looked more simple to me. Um, now that I've owned this one, I'm not really seeing it all. Yeah, it looks a little bit more high-end, tacky kind of deal, but it's a wash, man. It's all about opinion and whatnot. This here, I'm still getting used to it. I like the idea. And here's what I'm looking, what I'm getting used to. I always lose my darn keys and wallet in here. I know, I know I said it has a dedicated spot. My wallet's always going to be there. But for some darn reason, I'm always looking for it. It's my little office. It's a mess, obviously, because I was looking for a business card about an hour ago. But it's my little coins. And my wife decided to help me out and put my pens where I always put them. Right over here. So, yeah, man. These these seats are a little bit more outlined, underlined, whatever you want to call them. The headrest, guys. This is something the fourth gen does not have. And obviously, makeup powder or whatever this junk is. And that. <laughs> anyway, so these seats are a little bit more outlined. Guys, the best I could do. And as quick as I could do it. Very comfortable seats. Um, if you'll just follow the design here. And then look here nothing really changed besides you know they, they put a little bit of white outlining here and added another stitching part here where the other one was just solid pieces a little bit more detailed so i'll give them that here uh comfort level they're the same seats i like them a lot either or will work and obviously the back side i can't really speak too much for because uh that's what you get back here this guy is one of the guys that likes to get rid of the panel and give himself as much breathing space as he can and that's what he did and that's why I can't roll down the back windows. So, had some tape around, so figured I'd use that. As far as seat controls, they're the same exact seat. I didn't mention that. Um, so, yeah, to be fair, I'll show you the driver's side. Not that it's going to help anything. The whole comparison idea is side by side, you know, seconds after talking about one, showing you the other. You know, it's a little bit busier. Once you get used to it, nothing, nothing's really in your way or wowing you. That's where I put my little modem, my controller. So, yeah. Look at that. I'm a family man. <sighs> Got me all my kiddos, man. These kids love going with me. Got an outlet back here for you guys that haven't seen all this shebang. So, you got a little holder here. And then you got these outlets. Kids love them. They hook up their tablet. And uh, that's about it. I like the fact that they've given you room as much as they could. Um, so, yeah. Butt warmers. Probably the butt cooler seat. I think the 1500s have them. These don't. Anyways, boys. Uh, I would go more in depth. I'll show you the underneath. But maybe one day, not today. Obviously, it's not in the garage. And my shop's being occupied right now. I can't put them on the lift. But what I can do is give you a brief under view. So axle, whole shebang. And then, yes, the other truck's gonna get a diff cover at some point. So anyways, there you have it, boys. And as always, may the Lord bless you. And may you all have a mighty fine day while I go back in the office and get back to work. Ciao.